Here I am at Cannondale Factory Racing. This is their truck. We're gonna take a look inside, see what they have. This is a hospitality for their guests that arrive over the weekend. Obviously we're a little early for lunch um, and it's not quite ready yet, but as you can see, they got room for 12 guests here. On the left here, you have all the riders' bikes. Each rider has their own fancy mat with the, the nation that they're from, the name, and in this case is their Twitter or Instagram handle. So this is Manuel Fumix bike, German national champion, as you can see the accents of the, uh, the German flag there. Really cool stealth looking bike. Marco Fontana, he's out on the course right now doing some practice. So his bike hasn't been stolen, he's using it. So last but not least, we have the Australian rider, Anton Cooper. Australian. Okay, so last but not least, we have the New Zealand rider, Anton Cooper. This is his bike. Actually, these are both his bikes. So there he is over there. Uh, he's off out to do some practice now. So this must be a spare horse. <laughs> Moving further back from the, from the bicycle display area, we have Italian's finest man, probably should be the Pope, but he likes working on bikes. This is Giacomo, he's a head mechanic here, working for everyone. Yeah. He looks after four bikes. Yeah, he's not like a downhill. I can't look after my own bike, never mind four. One thing that's worth mentioning is all these airlines are actually routed through the frame of the awning, so they can just sort of pull down pump tires up without any trouble at all. That's pretty much it for the outside. Let's go have a look in the back of the trailer here. Right, so stepping into the back of the trailer, this is like where all the storage is. As you can see, they travel with quite a lot of wheels. So there's eight bikes that will be stored in here when they're on the move. And not only that, there's 24 sets of wheels that, that travel with the team. All these bags are labeled. So this is a mud set of tires, and that's for the FSI hardtail race bike. Moving to the right here, you've got a scalpel and that has got a Rocket Ron tire set on it. The reason for this is that they have a slightly different offset on the, on the hubs, the rear hubs, so therefore they need a different wheel set for the two bikes. <coughs> okay, so across here, these are the Nobby Nicks, a little bit more of an aggressive tire. Um, they inform me that each box has 20 tires so they know they've got plenty of tyres to get for them through the weekend. 20 tyres would last you a year, right? This is very cool. So this is a little like handheld comp compressor. Pump the tyres up completely wirelessly. So that's great for sort of maybe going to the finish line or in a, in a feed zone if they have a mechanical, they can just pump the tyre up dead quick. Right, upstairs. No, it's not really electric, there's stairs. But welcome to the sun deck. Now, I'm not really sure why you'd have this, but when you've got scenery like that, it's a perfect place to come and chill out. That's it for the main storage of the truck, bikes wise. Moving along, a few pistachios if you'd like. This is really cool. There's a strong Italian presence in Cannondale, so obviously it's a good place to come and get a cup of coffee. This is pretty sweet. As you can see, it folds away bring it out and it sits on the little stand below. Team members only. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so this is the rider's area. Not only is this a sofa, you've got Marco Fontana. This is his own personal cupboard in here. So he's a Red Bull athlete, Alpine stars, nice helmet, Red Bull helmet. What else has he got? Some very bright socks, very cool. Same goes for Henry Avancini, also a Red Bull athlete. Got his uh, very fancy North Wave casual shoes. But you let them loose on the dance floor, but they go like, go like the clappers. All the entertainment here, iPod, PlayStation. Everybody loves playing PlayStation, right? All the remotes, the relevant stuff. Aircon, it's really hot here this weekend, so That'll be critical and probably get used quite a lot. Okay, in here, 
We have a washing machine and dryer. They can keep on top of the washing and pretty much be self-sufficient, which is really important. They can do everything. Can't believe you disturbed me. I was just having a bit of a nap. Right, moving on into the kitchen. So I think this is a pretty unique feature. As you can see, Royf here is putting together lunch for the riders and any guests that will be arriving over the weekend. They'll have freshly cooked food served to them out in the hospitality. So pretty cool. Got the fridge here for the main supplies. I don't want to get in his way too much. He's in full flow for lunch. Got a steamer for steaming vegetables and so on. All his sort of condiments and herbs that need, uh, need adding to the mixture. Looks like he knows what he's doing, doesn't he? It smells really good. So you might think that we finished the tour, but you're wrong. So this, this motorhome here on the side of the team setup is provided by Naus. And what they have here is like a personal area for the riders to kind of escape from the hustle and bustle when it's busy on race day. So if you come inside, obviously it's a little bit smaller than, than what we've been in. Got comfy seats here that sort of, well, well, may as well have a go, don't I? When it's hot and dusty or sweaty or covered in mud, it doesn't really matter. There's nothing better than having a shower. They can come in, get nice and clean and ready for the next practice or the next day. I'm not even gonna count the bottles, but there's loads and loads of bottles in here and all the supplements, gels, etc. Okay, so that's it for our Cannondale truck tour. I think it's fair to say that it's one of the cleanest and most well presented setups that I've seen. If you did like this truck tour, then click up here for more truck tours on our playlist. And of course, for our pro bike playlist, click down here. And as always, click on the Cannondale rig to subscribe to GMBN.